How is my YouTube family doing today? I hope everybody had a good start of the week. And today I have a beautiful recipe to share with you guys. You know how I like to be creative and how I like to change things up in my kitchen because I don't like my family to eat the same thing over and over. Today I have a beautiful recipe to share with you all and this is no other than fish choker bake. So it's not fish choker with bake, it's fish choker bake. That means the fish choker will be in the bake. And if you guys want to see how I'm making this, stick around and let's make it together. I know a lot of you love bake, just like me and my family. And these are creative ways that you will enjoy it even more. So come on down. So I have all my ingredients here. I have some flour. I have salt, baking powder, some dried flour on the side, water, and some sugar. Let me show you how we're gonna put this together. This is for the bake, very simple and easy. So we're gonna add baking powder. I'm gonna leave all the measurement in the description box below. Some brown sugar to sweeten up the bake and it helps to add a nice texture. We're gonna go in and add a little pinch of salt to balance up the flavor of the bake. And let's give this a nice mix. We're gonna add our water little by little and then knead the flour to a nice soft but not sticky dough. So my dough is nicely coming together. We just have to knead it until all the dry flour combine to this one big ball. As you can see, that's what's happening right now and once we get out everything this dough will be ready if it's a little bit sticky like this all you have to do is add a little bit of dry flour and then knead it into the dough and that will help it to get rid of that stickiness if it's too firm or tough just D dunk your hand in some water and then knead it nice and slowly until it becomes soft again so this is looking good right now perfect for our dough so my dough is nice and soft and that's what you're looking for with a little bit of the dough like this you can make it as big or as small as you like i'm just rolling these off and then I'm gonna leave them to sit. They're super nice and soft. So I finished rolling off the bakes. I'm gonna leave it on the side to sit until I finish with the fish choker. To start with my bake filling, I have some Banga Mary filly and I have eight pieces like this. I already seasoned one side of it. So it, all together, it's like four whole Banga Mary. You can use banga or any kind of fish with bone as well, but you will have to remove it. Today, I have these banga mary filet, so that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna go ahead and season, season the banga mary. Salt. We're gonna add some cayenne pepper, and this will give it a nice color and a nice flavor as well. And then I'm gonna go in and add some dried oregano leaves. And then we're gonna go in there and mix everything up nicely with my hands like this. Let me show you how beautiful color it have. See? So beautiful and nice coated with those seasoning. I'm gonna be adding some fresh ingredients after I finish frying this, when I'm preparing the choker. So let's get on with the frying process. So I have some seasoned flour, the same seasoning that I add to the fish. I'm gonna lightly dust the Banga Mary just like this and shake out any excess flour and then we're gonna fry these until they're nice and golden brown. 
And now we're gonna flip these fish. They look so good. It's very tempting to take a piece with some pepper sauce. You guys know how much I like fried fish. So, check out my fried Banga Mary. The color is beautiful. It's nice and beautifully done. I have some hot pepper. I removed the seeds. Some purple onion, cilantro, and green onion to add to my fish joker. And let me show you how I'm going to do this to get the fish and the ingredients a nice beautiful texture i'm gonna finally blend all the ingredients up to a nice texture this is the texture i'm looking for not like a paste and not too chunky so when you bite into the bake you're gonna have that perfect burst of flavor i'm gonna add my fish into the food processor and then grind it up a little to get everything to a nice even texture so the fish and the ingredients will have a nice beautiful texture and it will be well and seasoned it smells so good and guys this piece here you know i have to take a piece it's for you guys mm. We're gonna pulse the fish to have the same texture as the ingredients so everything can combine well and it can have a beautiful texture, not too big and not too fine. I remember my mom used to make this and she had the perfect fine texture for her fish joker. I'm gonna go in with a clove of grated garlic. I like to grate the garlic so we're not biting into the pieces of the garlic. And then I'm gonna mix it in well. And of course, a little bit of lime or lemon juice just to bring everything together. And then mix it up nicely. I can see nice pieces of the cilantro, green onion, and that purple onion in there. The pepper is yellow, so it's kind of hard to notice, but I taste a little bit and it tastes so flavorful, so spicy, so nice. So now it's time for us to start frying the bacon. I roll off the, the, the dough. dough a little and then I'm going to add some of the filling here. And we're going to bring it over like that, like a half circle or like a chicken patty. And then we're gonna press the edges down. You can do this with your fingers. You can do them like this, or you can make them however you like, as big or as small as you wish. And then nicely press it down to remove that air pocket in there. And this one is ready to fry. It's actually a nice size bake that will fill you up and you can have one or two or how many you like. So let me do another one quickly. After rolling off the dough, just add your nice filling, not too much to puff up or that you can close it. And then fold it over again. And we're just gonna press the edges to seal them. And this is beautiful. Natalie said she wished if I would let her do this but i want to hurry up and she's making some masala tea so these are two beautiful ones we have here i'm just waiting for my oil to warm up and then we will go ahead and fry let's fry our nice fish joker bake They're so nice and big, you only need one. And trust me, because they're so flavorful, you might eat two. So I'm gonna fry these up until they're nice and golden brown. I did two. They have beautiful color. And I have a few more to go. 
So we're gonna do another one. Just fold them nicely in the center like this and leave room to close it off like that to a half circle. You can press this one, I'm gonna press, show you how you can press it down with your fingers. But doing it with the fork gives you a nice finish and it looks very appealing. And just press, press it down like that. They are ready to fry. Check out my beautiful looking fish choker bake. Perfectly done. Nice brown color. And they are looking so good. Check that out. Nice and soft. Very nice. This one is crunchy and very nice. The ones that I fried earlier, they're so soft. This one just finished and it's nice and crunchy. So let's reveal the taste test with my spice chai to go with this. So are you guys ready to try my fish choker bake? This smells so good and with this yellow pepper sauce along with some ketchup, the kids like the mixture of the two. It's gonna be so inviting and delicious. I'm gonna break into one and let you guys see how it look and I will reveal the taste test. And now is the time for taste testing. I'm gonna go in for a mouthful of my spice chai look how nice and rich that is and we have one nice beautiful batch very nice and hot off the stove we're gonna break into one of these and look at that check that out look at the filling So I have ketchup here and I have pepper sauce. Let me taste it without the ketchup and the pepper sauce for you guys. Mmm. The outside have a crust. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That fish is well unseasoned. I taste cilantro. I taste the lime juice, oh my gosh, and a hint of pepper. So you don't even need pepper, it's full of flavor, like, so full of flavor. You don't even need this pepper, but you know what? I'm gonna add some still. Wow. The bake is nice and soft and that pepper sauce take it up to a different level wow i know jessica had some of this pepper sauce how you like yours it was really good it gives it a different flavor like wow. added flavor. Uh, right yeah oh my god and what did you say it tastes like it tastes like a wonton mm -hmm. yeah like fried wonton oh. when the kids approve it you know, that is good. Jessica said it tastes like a fried wonton. Or a dumpling. Or like a spring roll. Yeah. But with fish joke in there. Oh my gosh, guys. Please try it. I was just sitting there. And I know, you guys know that I don't like to make the same food all the time. And I was thinking about all the things I made with bake. And I said, you know what? Fish joke is a good idea. So I did the fish joker. Mm, mm mm So good. You don't need anything to go with it. But when you add pepper sauce, you give it a different flavor. I don't need a ketchup for mine. And guys, I hope you'll give it a try. Fish choker bake. And this is one that I just came up with. So thank you all so, so much for your love, your support, for cooking fish choker bake with me this evening hope you'll give the recipe a try it is so so delicious look at the filling in there so instead of having bake and salt fish or bake and fish choker i put it up in one package and it's easy to go for lunch for a snack or you know when you have your Guyanese friends 
or your Caribbean friends having a picnic this is great to take and you're gonna wow them so take care god bless love you guys bye for now